Welcome to you all. My name is Peggy Mandra and I will be your teacher for this lesson. I hope you've had a look at the class student guide to ensure that you are well settled so that you do not face any difficulties throughout the course of the class. Now, before we do begin with today's lesson, could I kindly ask you to introduce yourself to the class for me? All right, um, Anton, can you please introduce yourself to the class for me? Anton, can you please introduce yourself to the class for me? Thank you very much um, to you there, Jim. And it's quite an interesting manner um, in which you introduced yourself. All right, our next student, um, Saha, can you please introduce yourself to the class for me? Saha Salim, can you please introduce yourself to the class for me? Thank you very much. And our last student, um, Yushi, please introduce yourself to the class for me. My English name is Sarah. I from China. I'm at, I live in Shanghai in six years ago. Um, I I I study English. Uh, have uh, have six six months. Um, I I work at the Foy Advertisement. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much uh, to you there. All right, looking at today's topic, we talk about bad holidays. All right, having a move on, did you ever have a bad vacation? So could I please have a volunteer who would kindly like to let me know, did you ever have a bad vacation? If you would like to share with the class, please do kindly raise your hand and let me know if you ever had a bad vacation. Um, Jim, could you perhaps uh, kindly let me know, did you ever have a bad occasion? Have you ever had a bad vacation? Or Jim thinks about that. Saha, I notice you have your hand raised. Please do let me know, did you ever have a bad vacation? For having shared that with us. Um, Sarah, I notice that you have your hand raised as well. Please do let me know, um, did you ever have a bad vacation? Yushi, perhaps you would like to let me know, did you ever have a bad vacation? Uh, I think, I, I, think uh, um, I remember uh, once uh, uh, my company organized uh, organize outing go to uh, Kuala Lumpur, uh, but uh, I go to uh, airport, uh, the flight delay eight hours. I think it's bad, bad, bad start. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much to you, there, Yushi, for having shared that with me. Um, Azad, perhaps you would like to let me know. Did you ever have a bad vacation? Azad, perhaps you would like to let us know. Did you ever have a bad vacation? All right, let us move on to our next slide. So here we are introduced to some vocabulary. So do you understand these phrases? All right. And our first uh, phrase over there that we have, we were driving down the road. When a truck hit the car, we were walking on the beach and when it began to rain. So can I please kindly have volunteers who would like to let me know if they understand these phrases. So is there a volunteer to let me know if you understand what the phrase we were driving down the road means. Jim, would you perhaps kindly like to let me know what do you understand by the phrase we were driving down the road? All right, not a problem, but thank you very much to you there, Jim. All right, uh, Yushi, perhaps you would like to let me know, what do you understand by the phrase, we were driving down the road? Um, you mean we will drive, uh, I understand we will driving, uh, driving down on the road. Uh, teacher, um, uh, sorry, I... Um, I uh you you means I uh I I know we are driving down the driving down the road. 
what do you understand by it? Um, let me just help you out there. So we were driving down the road. So this does um, give perhaps an implication that uh, people were going on holiday. People were going on a holiday. Um, and they were driving to their destination. All right, so that is uh, what uh, the phrase could mean. All right, having a look at the next phrase, when a truck hit us, who can perhaps uh, explain this phrase for me? When a truck hit the car. Um, Saha, perhaps you would like to give it a try. When, the tr when a truck hit the car. You are correct there, Saha. So that definitely does mean that these people um, encountered a accident. Thank you very much to you there. All right. Having a look at our next phrase, we were walking on the beach. Um, could I have the volunteer to kindly let me know what they understand by this phrase? We were work walking on the beach. Um, Saha, please do let me know. You definitely are correct. So this does definitely mean that um, the people um, are on their holiday. Thank you very much to you there. All right, and our last clip, uh, when it began to rain. Who can perhaps give that a try? When it began to rain. Azad, perhaps uh, you would like to give it a try? Jim, all right, thank you very much. Please do uh, give it a try for me. Thank you very much to you, and you are correct. When it began to rain, definitely does indicate um, that the weather began to change. Thank you very much to you, there, and you were definitely correct. So this means that the weather began to change. And if we have a look at it, um, this definitely does indicate one thing to us. All right. So if we have a look at it, it does indicate one thing to us, that this is a bad vacation, as so many things um, actually happened throughout the vacation. Firstly, they got hit um, by a truck. Um, well, actually, their car got hit by a truck. Um, and as they're enjoying the scenery and everything else, it begins to rain. Now moving on. Put the phrases into groups. All right, and the two groups that we have are first action and second action. All right, so if we have a look um, at the groups that we have been given, it is first action and second action. So could I please have a volunteer who would kindly like to let me know what they think or in which group they think the first phrase should be placed. Should it be placed in first action or second action? Thank you very much, Jim. Please do give it a try. Uh, I think we were driving on the road in the first action and uh, when our truck had the car in the second action. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much, and you were definitely correct there, Jim. So the first action is indeed we were driving down the road. And our second action is definitely when a truck hit the car. All right, could I please have another volunteer who would kindly like to let me know? Um, we were walking on the beach. If it is a first action or not, and when it began to rain, if it is a first or second action. Thank you very much to you there, Saha. Please do let me know. Thank you very much, and you are definitely correct. We were walking on the beach is definitely the first action, and when it began to rain is indeed a second action. Thank you very much there to the both of you. So in our next slide, we are asked to talk about our bad vacation. What happened? So they say we were driving down the road when a truck hit the car. And when did it happen? We were walking on the beach when it began to rain. So could I kindly have a volunteer to kindly share their experience or to tell us about their bad vacation? Please do kindly tell us what exactly happened on your way to your destination or when you were on your vacation. And uh, when did it happen? Please do kindly share with us. Raise your hand and kindly share your experience with us. Um, Yushi, perhaps you would like to tell us um, of one of your experiences um, when you encountered to have a bad vacation. Please do kindly share with us, Yushi. Um, 
we will uh, check uh, we will checking holy uh, ho uh, we will checking holy uh, uh, we will checking hotel uh, 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 we um when um when um, uh, when a re reception told me uh, I I book hotel miss miss Mistake. Thank you, teacher. Much to you, De Yushi, and I do apologize for having encountered such an experience. But just to help you out there, I noticed that you had a bit of difficulty. All right, I noticed that you said we were checking hotel. All right, so instead of saying uh, we were checking hotel, do you remember to place in a preposition there? Rather say we were. Checking. We were checking into a hotel. To All right. Into hotel. So that said, over there is a phrasal uh, verb, I suppose. So do you remember to say that we were checking into a hotel, and that definitely does sound correct. But thank you very much for sharing your experience with us. All right. Um. Jim, I noticed that you have your hand raised as well. Please do kindly uh, talk about your bad vacation. Let us know what happened uh, and when did it happen. Thank you very much to you, the Jim, for having shared that with us. Is there perhaps any other volunteer, perhaps you, Saha, or perhaps Azad, who would like to talk to us about your bad vacations? All right, thank you very much, Saha. Please do share your experience with us. Thank you very much to you there, and I do apologize to all of you for some of the misfortunate things that happened uh, during your bad vacations. All right, moving on. What happened on your vacation? Now, if we have a look over here, we have a picture of someone in the swimming pool. We have a picture of people sitting in the restaurant, uh, checking into the hotel, and reading in my room. When? It began to rain, I lost my passport, I got sick, and a fire started. All right, now through this slide, could I please have volunteers who would kindly like to let me know what happened on their vacations by kindly using the pictures that we have been given. So in this case, um, you can definitely make up a story. So for example, you could say, um, I went on holiday with my friend and we went to a sunny hotel or something like that um, and I decided to take a swim in the pool and during while I was swimming they told us that um, there would be a carnival at the swimming pool so my friend and I got dressed into our swimming costumes and we had a great time in the pool and we were waiting for the carnival to begin but an hour before the carnival uh, it began to rain so unfortunately that is what happened on my bad vacation so that is the kind of story or the kind of sentence or phrases that you can just come up with um, can I perhaps ask you Jim to tell us what happened on your bad vacation uh, either using swimming in the pool sitting in the restaurant checking into the hotel reading in my room when and then you let us know either if it began to rain or you lost or you lost your passport or you got sick or a fire started that actually made your vacation to be a bad one. All right. So Jim, please do give it a try and tell us about your bad vacation. Oh in summer I want to swim I want to swim with my friends. And when I swim in the swimming pool it began to rain. What a bad day. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much to you, Dejim. And it is quite unfortunate. Saha, so, can you perhaps tell us what happened on your bad vacation? Thank you very much to you there, Saha, for having shared that. And it is quite unfortunate because if we have a look at the picture there, they definitely do seem to be having some cakes, some delicious treats. And unfortunately, sickness just had to spoil um, that for you. But thank you very much, Saha, and that was definitely well told. All right, and our law student, Yushi. Yushi, please do let me know what happened on your bad vacation.
Um, uh, when um, uh, when when we are uh when we are with my friend checking to the holiday, um, I uh. I was uh I was uh I was sick. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much to you, the Yushi, and it is quite unfortunate that um when you guys had to check into the hotel and perhaps explore the place, you fell sick. Uh, but thank you very much, there, to all of you. Uh, for having participated and letting me know what happened on your bad vacation. As such, I definitely do hope that you're not experiencing um, any difficulties with your microphone. If you are, please just send me a message in the chat pod and I'll definitely assist you. And if not, do continue enjoying the rest of um, the class with us. All right, having a look at our final task. Tell a story about a bad vacation. So, student A, tell the first part of a story about a bad vacation. Student B, continue the story from where student A stopped. Student C, continue the story where student B stopped. All right, and just to give you an example, so you understand what we are being asked to do. So last year, my friends and I took a vacation to Hawaii. So if this was to be you telling the story, so Jim would say, we were arriving in Moai when I realized I didn't have my passport. Then Saha would say, we were looking for the missing passport when I began feeling sick. I had to run to the bathroom. Then you, she would say, we were waiting for our friend to come out of the bathroom when I fell over and hurt my leg. We had to call a doctor. All right, so then this is their story of a bad vacation. Now, can I ask you, Jim, Saha, and Yushi, to come up with your own story? So can you make up your own story about a bad vacation? All right, so then, Jim, you will be student A, so you will start the story for us. Saha, you will be student B, so you will continue from where Jim had stopped. And Yushi, you will be student and C, and you will continue from where Saha had stopped. And then perhaps we can have one more round with Jim will go again, Saha will go again, and then Yushi will end the story for us. Jim, do you perhaps understand what you need to do? Jim, do you perhaps understand what you need to do? All right. Uh, Saha, you understand. Yushi, do you understand what you need to do? Yushi, do you perhaps understand what you need to do? Yushi, uh, can Yushi hear me? Yushi, do you perhaps understand what you need to do? Um, uh, I, I, uh, I'm a student. I'm a student. Say, I continue story from, uh, from. Uh, uh -huh. uh, Saha. Yes, you do. Um. All right. Uh, thank you very much. It seems like you all do understand. So, Jim, please do begin telling uh, the story of your bad vacation. We were, arri we were arriving at the airport when I think I have a bad cold and with a runny nose. But please do continue from Jim's uh, story. Saha? Uh, Saha, you the one that's continuing. So Jim said that you were about to um, arrive at the airport when suddenly she began to feel sick and she had a runny nose. So please do continue the story from there, Saha. Please do continue from there. So. Your friend had a runny nose, um, and she began to fall sick, um, and then you had to take her to the hospital or call a doctor. So what happened from there, Yushi? When we are uh, arrived at uh, airport, um, 
when I、uh, feel I when I feel、uh, sick, and I um I should I should、uh, call call a doctor. When she uh you she please do kindly let me know. Um, so then the doctor was called. What happened after the doctor was called? Um, I don't understand. All right. Uh, Saha would like to continue from there. All right, Saha, do give it a try and continue from there. All right. Thank you very much to you there, Saha. That was definitely、uh, well done, and thank you. For ending the、uh, story there, and it definitely is a bad vacation as you did not even get to、uh, go on the plane,、um, get to your destination, and enjoy your holiday. Thank you very much there to all of you. All right, now having a look at our final slide. This is a summary of everything that we have done. So, Jim, could I perhaps ask you to complete the first sentence for me? So, this is what it says: I was driving down the road when. So, Jim, can you perhaps complete that for me? Yes, teacher.、Uh, I was driving down the road when. There was a traffic jam. Thank you, teacher. You there. Um, that was well done. So we, so I was driving down the road when I got stuck in a traffic jam. Thank you to you there. Um, Saha, perhaps you would like to complete the next sentence for me. I was reading a book when. Uh. Saha, and definitely one could say, I was reading a book when I suddenly got a headache. Thank you very much to you, this Saha, and our last student, Yushi. Please continue this or complete this sentence for me. I was walking on the beach when. Yushi, please do complete the sentence. I I was I was uh I I was、uh, walking on the beach when. Uh, the when the starts ring. Yeah, you see, and that was well done. I was walking on the beach when the rain suddenly began. Thank you very much to you, there, ladies. Um, now could I perhaps ask, is there anyone who might have a question? Is there perhaps anyone that has a question? All right. So it seems like no one has a question. So unfortunately, we have come to the end of today's lesson. But if you might perhaps like to comment on today's lesson, or if you would like to let me know of what you thought about the slides or today's lesson, please do feel free to kindly do so and、uh, let me know what you think of today's lesson and、uh, what you think of the slides as well. All right. Please also remember to fill in the lesson observation form. And、let me know what kind of teacher you thought I was. Let me know of my teaching abilities and my performance. Please do、uh, fill it in, as this form is quite crucial、uh, towards my teaching. All right. I will release the slides to you so that you can also have a look at them at your own time. Do you also expect to receive your gradings within 24 hours? This class definitely does deserve a round of applause. And、um, you did understand what was required. You did a good job. I appreciated your participation, and I definitely did enjoy myself with you. So thank you very much to you, the. Jim, thank you very much to you there, Saha, and thank you very much to you there,、uh, Yushi. I definitely do hope to see you guys very soon. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.